Hello everyone, welcome to Thurrit Hunters! In this guide you will learn how to fight Gamoth, the giant beast that lives in the snow, and one of the members of the Fated Four, the flagship monsters of Monster Hunter Generations. Don't allow her massive size and brute strength to intimidate you, and without further delay, let's take a look at her weaknesses. This chart represents the damage every hit zone takes for every possible weapon type and element. Try to aim up the parts with higher modifiers. Gamoth's weakest hit zones are her head and trunk. Weakness exploit is not recommended for gunners though, as it will only work on the trunk and only until it's broken. Also, take a look at the legs. They receive considerable damage for how safe and easily accessible they are. Regarding elemental damage, your best option is fire. It only shines against snow-covered parts though. Lastly, its breakable parts are the head, the trunk and all the legs and they will look like the images from the left. Gamoth will try to smash you with her trunk, with so much energy that she will get stunned in the process. If you see Gamoth raising her head and trunk, it means that a trunk slam is about to happen. You can detect it also by watching her right front leg, especially if you don't have visibility to her head. To avoid it, simply walk out its range and punish her recovery. When she is enraged, the mod will do a dual trunk slam and try to incapacitate you with wine pressure before the second slam, which hits harder, has tracking and a much larger hitbox. This combination of tracking and a huge hitbox is amazing for triggering added follow-ups. But don't fret, there are several other ways to avoid it. If you have a fast weapon, you can still get outside the extended ring. Unfortunately, slower weapons won't have enough time. Don't worry though, you can still evade it using an evasion hunting bar. or shooting your weapon before the second slam. Or blocking it. It has considerable knockback, but it still allows to finish the recovery. Once you can detect its stealth, you can avoid it consistently. And punish it incredibly long with that with your strongest attacks. Gamot will try to charge you with her sturdy head, while using her task as a snowplow. When she is not enraged, you can easily get outside its range and punish her head when she finishes the charge. Be careful though, after the charge is finished, she will send snow flying in a really wide area in front of her. So until you get used to its range, it's better to wait until she finishes the charge to not get hit by the snow. When she's enraged though, this strategy will not be safe anymore as she will usually cover more distance with her charge. There are several ways to avoid it. If you are on shit, you cannot drone her and punish her as before. Or run along her from one side and punish the head when the charge is finished. If you are shit but she's very far, create a bit of distance and give her a warm welcome. The same can be achieved if you have methods to increase quickly your distance, such as an evasion hunting bar. Otherwise, avoid her to one side and punish her legs. Blocking weapons can also block the charge. Just remember that the snow comes as a hit, so it's not safe to counter from the front. You can still safely counter from inside though. Lastly, there's a space where the Gamoth head will not reach due to her head tilting. You'll still get hit by the legs though. You can stay under her body though, it's risky, but if you are in a pinch, you can try to avoid her legs.
When Gamoth stands on her back legs, she will try to stomp you. Watch closely her back legs. Three steps means she goes for a big stomp. Beware, even if she doesn't hit you, there's a huge tremor effect at the end. You can actually use this tremor on your benefit to trigger added follow-ups. Tremor res is an option here, but you can evade it with your stocky frames if you know the timing. For that, you need to start your evasion as soon as her feet touches the ground. You can also use your aerial bolt to evade and attack Gamoth at the same time. Or get out of its range and punish the landing. For that, the first step determines the direction. She can rectify well against her momentum, so go in the opposite direction and punish the landing. Let's see different examples. If instead of 3 steps, she does 2 quick steps, be real careful. She'll do a very dangerous storm in which seals and flying the snow in her legs. To make it worse, the attack produces tremor both at the beginning and at the end. To avoid it, as soon as you detect that she does 2 steps, fall back and wait until she ends the animation to punish her. If you are a gunner, the long animations give you a lot of time for free hits. Lastly, she can try to stomp you when turning. You will detect it because she will not completely stand up. Staying close to her back legs is safe and Tremor will not reach you, so punish her at your leisure. Gamoth will try to cover her legs with the snow through the fire. She can do it from below, sending snow flying in front and on the sides. Or she can do it from above, sending snow flying toward its back. While she's sucking snow, her trunk gets exposed. It's her weak spot, so use the chance to punish it. There's a safe blind spot under her chin, where you can continue attacking during the animation. When she does it from above, you can safely stay in front of her. Punish her head at the end with your strongest attack. Let's see a few examples. If you are aiming for a leg break, you can safely punish the front legs if the blizzard comes from above. But you'll get hit if she decides to do it from below, so have a cleanser ready. Gamoth will do a trunk swing, trying to sweep you. She does a preparation before the attack. She will do a few sidestep and extend her trunk in the direction of the attack. You wear the icy wine though, it causes wind pressure. A sting under her body is safe during the wall attack. Just be sure to be past her neck or she'll pin you. If you are aiming for a leg break, you can safely punish her back legs during the wall attack. Blocking weapons can also block or counter the sweep and punish the recovery. Beware though, on rare occasions she'll skip the preparation and go directly for a sweep to the opposite direction of her trunk. Nothing changes other than the direction, though. Punish it in the same way. The sequence that leads to a roar is left foot tap, right foot tap, roar. It's a very long roar, so not even evasion skills or hunting guards will work. 
actions that nullify the first attack will not release it, so... Like blocks, added follow-ups, war points or counters. Let's see different examples. Finally, you only need regular air plugs for Gamor. But high rate air plug will be needed for Hyper Gamor. Gamoth can try to suck snow and fire it from its trunk. The blast covers a wide range, so be aware, or you'll end up as a snowman. Don't get too close to the blast and punish Gamoth head from the inside. Gamoth will try to drive you close to her with her trunk. You can use the opportunity to hit her trunk, head or front legs. Just be aware that she likes to combo this with a follow-up. The sprinkler comes quite fast, so it's hard to bait. However, it's rare for her to do it, and it does little damage. If you're a gunner, you can use the distance to punish her. Try not to get the snow blighted, though. If you're a blade master, you can either try to stay behind her trunk or run and squeeze the hit after the attack ends. The cue for a big snowball is Gamoth getting a track while sucking the snow with her trunk. The big snowball will have tracking, so try to avoid and squeeze a hit if possible. If she doesn't get a track and fires the snow, it can be one small snowball or three small snowballs. The snowballs will have tracking, so be aware. Small snowballs can reach behind her trunk. Use that to your advantage if you are close. If you are not close enough, avoid the snowballs and try to squeeze a hit if possible. On rare occasions, she'll try to fling the snow in her front legs at you. This attack gets rid of the snow on her leg and sends you flying. When it comes, it's usually after a roar. It's quick and hard to avoid, but luckily it doesn't deal much damage. Without snow, it's quite inoffensive though. She can also throw snow from its back legs. You won't be sent flying, but it can snow blight you even when not covered by snow. There are two main ways of fighting Gamoth. The first one revolves around breaking her legs. And abusing the super long recovery time to punish the exposed head and trunk. To put some perspective, for every leg broken, she'll be down for 15 seconds, the same duration as a full paralysis. Playing near her legs has also few advantages. Pretty much anything that she does with her head and trunk, which is most of her moveset, can reach you there. This safety allows for an all-out aggressive style in which you can be constantly wailing her legs with little downtime. Don't overcommit though, greediness is one of the worst enemies of a hunter. And remember to pay attention to her stones, her most dangerous movement with this strategy. Fortunately, from the legs you have perfect visibility, so you'll be able to detect them and react quickly. Try not to split too much the damage between the legs, or you might end up without any stagger at all. This is especially important in Hyper Gamoth case, as her stagger thresholds are much higher. Ideally, you want to focus as much as possible on one single leg, and when it's broken, go for another. The exception to this are the fire-based elemental sets. 
fire only works well against the snow covered parts, so change target after snow melts to maximize the elemental damage. And remember, once the leg is broken, it won't be covered by snow anymore. All in all, this strategy is amazing for fighting a mod. It's safe, consistent, and nets really good times with all the weapons. There's a second strategy for fighting a moth, which consists on playing in front of her and try to lure her best openings. This strategy can potentially net the best times for blunt and hard hitter weapons like GS that can inflict lots of damage in a really short time. Bear in mind though, as you are giving her the initiative, you will depend more on how collaborative Gamoth wants to be. In that sense, if he spans trunk slams, you are golden. But you can also spend a long time without a proper opening. Gunners also love this strategy because they are much less dependent on Gamoth behavior. If Gamoth decides to troll, they can still punish pretty much everything from the distance. In any case, don't be afraid to mix both strategies as you see fit. They work really well together and having more options is never a bad thing. One last tip for fighting Gamoth. A lot of Gamoth attacks inflict a snow blight, so try to bring always cleansers. And that's all, thanks for watching and we sincerely hope you enjoyed the video.